Bursts of pink and white cherry blossoms fill Van Dusen Botanical Garden, each beautiful bud creating a picture-perfect backdrop. It's um, sakura season, so it would be a nice opportunity to take photos. Diana Tu and Dini Chen are among hundreds of people taking in this weekend's Sakura Days. We both are fans of Japanese culture, and we thought it would be fun to check out the food and the performances. And they're not alone. Organizers say this is the largest turnout they've ever had. It's the first time we're running an in-person event after two years. And there's so many cherry trees. It's very rare that we actually have the festival running when the cherry trees are in full bloom. So we're very excited. The event is put on in partnership with the Vancouver Cherry Blossom Festival to celebrate the city's diverse history and cultures. First cherry blossom trees came to Vancouver in the 1930s. They were a gift of the people of Japan, and it was to commemorate and memorialize the Canadian Japanese soldiers who had fought in World War I. Now, he says more than 43,000 cherry blossom trees line Vancouver streets, a sight that brings back fond childhood memories for Yuriko Kanemura. I'm very happy when I see cherry blossom, when I do tea ceremony. Kanemura says tea ceremony traditions date back more than 1,200 years. Before we enter tea ceremony room, we start to cleanse our mind, appreciate nature. Much like tea, cherry blossom trees are also deep-rooted in Japanese culture, a symbol of renewal as a new season begins. The cherry blossom is like our, as fleeting as our own lives, and so the idea is to just capture the mo every moment. Learning about the intricacies of each tree is one of the activities people can take in at this year's festival, which wraps up April 23rd. It's really the celebration of the city getting to re-emerge, uh, re um, just like these blossoms are. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Vancouver.